Welcome to another edition of ASU TV 13 News. I'm Stephanie Royal. Alcorn held its 2014 Heritage Convocation in the Oakland Memorial Chapel. The guest speaker for the event was Congressman Benny G. Thompson. He spoke to the crowd and gave a great keynote address. One of the things they told me at Bolton Colored School was that if, they, you get it, if you get it in your head, they can't take it from you. So if they give you that education here at Alcorn, they can't take it from you. And there's nothing like being in a meeting and kind of letting folk know what you know. And then they'll ask that question. They said, where you go to school? <laughs> See, call, and then you say, Alcorn State University. Then they're looking at you like, but you know what you're talking about. And you say, yes. So you know, by the way, we teach at Alcorn State University. And that's what I learned at Alcorn State <laughs> University. Teaching is an exciting and fun career for those who enjoy helping others. Teach for America came to enlighten students on how they can enter the education field. Edarian Bradley has more on that story. Teach for America recruits professionals and recent graduates from over 400 colleges and universities who have demonstrated the commitment and leadership ability needed to teach for at least two years in low-income public schools. 55% of the newest members of Teach for America grew up in a low-income community and are identified as people of color. I asked Dr. Cunningham what did he think of the Teach for America program. This is an opportunity for students to hear about ways they could contribute to the community through Teach for America. I also asked the student what was his purpose for attending this event. Um, hear a lot of good stuff about it. And top 100 companies to work for after you graduate. And I just want to come here to gain more information about it. Um, and give me some options to consider after I graduate. So. Teach for America is among the country's largest providers of African American and Latino teachers. I got a chance to ask a representative to provide some insight. We are going to talk a little bit about what Teach for America is um, and the application process and even things you can do if you decide not to go into the classroom um, but still fight for educational equity. Um, and we're really excited about partnering with Alcorn and being here um, and talking about what it means to be a teacher from Mississippi too. This is Edarian Bradley reporting for ASU TV 13. Braves football had an exciting signing day netting 14 recruits. Here's more about the incoming football class. Head football coach Jay Hobson and his staff are excited to announce the signing of 14 new faces who joined the Alcorn State football program. They are welcoming players from all around the surrounding states, which include Mississippi, Tennessee, and Florida. The signing class consists of Michael Brooks, Brandon Campbell, Cameron Carter, Daniel Franklin, Ashton Hall, Tavares Johnson, Jeremy Jordan, Chris Lingo, Christopher McRae, Darian Ragsdale, Frederick Ross, Lamar Scott, Sterling Shippey, and Eric Snow. The sophomore class sponsored a poetry slam featuring students who showcased their skills. Demetrius Robertson takes us to the action. A number of Alcorn students gathered in the go room of the new cafeteria for a sophomore class event. There were various kinds of talents being showcased, such as AMP Ministries praise dancing, freestyle spoken word, a few rap songs, and vocal performances as well. The crowd was questioned about Black History Month for our purple and gold door prizes during the intermissions. Amber Keeney showed up to the open mic to sing her own rendition of the song At Last by Etta James. SGA President Avery Ford and Denzel Turner also sung their own version of Marvin Gaye's hit song, Tired of Being Alone. At the end of the event, students also had a chance to cast their vote for the ASU Grammys. In the end, the open mic was a success and everyone enjoyed the show. This has been Demetrius Robertson for ASU TV 13. Intramural basketball season is in full effect. Various teams compete with hopes of bringing home the championship. Quintero Bell gives us a little insight on the event. In February, all Corn students have a chance to showcase their basketball talents during intramurals in the old gym. 
Students gather teammates, coaches, and uniforms and compete for bragging rights. In Wednesday night's matchup, students on the Alcorn football team played EPP. It was an exhilarating game full of dunks, blocks, and three-pointers, but EPP fell short. This is Quintero Bell reporting for ASU TV 13. And now here's your weekly weather forecast. Monday will bring rain with a high of 48 and a low of 32 degrees. Tuesday will have a chance of sleeting ice with a high of 39 and a low of 32 degrees. Wednesday has a chance of snow with a high of 43 and a low at 27 degrees. Thursday will be partly cloudy with a high of 52 and a low of 27 degrees as well. Friday will be foggy with a high of 63 and a low of 36 degrees. This weekly forecast has been brought to you by AccuWeather.com. And on our Black History Month, each week we will spotlight a prominent Black History figure. This week we are honoring Hiram Revels. Hiram R. Revels was born on September 27, 1827 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Revels was a minister who in 1870 became the first African American United States Senator representing the state of Mississippi. Revels participated in the Civil War organized in two black regiments for the Union Army. He also fought for the Union at the Battle of Vicksburg. After the war, he settled in Natchez, Mississippi with his wife and daughters and continued his career in the clergy. He quickly grew to be a respected member of the community. Known for his keen intelligence and oratorical skills, although he had no previous government experience, Revels garnered enough community support to win election to the position of Alderman in 1868 during the first phase of Reconstruction. Revels resigned from the Senate after a year to accept the presidency of Alcorn Agriculture and Mechanical College located in Claiborne County, Mississippi. He also served as an instructor in philosophy. This position at the historically black Alcorn allowed Revels to directly participate in the intellectual enrichment of African Americans, a cause for which he had fought while serving in the Senate. Revels died on January 16, 1901 in Aberdeen, Mississippi. Well, that's all we have for this week. Tune in next time to ASU TV 13. I'm Stephanie Royal.